and good morning to you all. And uh, we're, I'm going to take another look at the Pindo Palm and what's happened is the Pindo berries or dates uh, have uh, that fell and I buried in the ground are now per turning into uh, small palm trees. So uh, I want to show you something. Here's that little tiny Pindo Palm and we got another whole bunch of seeds. This is how they come out in the beginning. There's a couple shoots. They look like big spears. See this big spear right here? There's a big spear here. This happens like twice a year for me. There's another big spear here. And uh, I can either cut them off or I like to let one go just so the plant goes through its whole uh, process. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, I carried this in and put it in the hole myself here about five years ago. So this is a, a five year old, going on six year old in between their tree. But if you look down on the ground here with me, watch this. There's a, next to that cord, here's three pindo palm trees coming up. I've been slowly moving them back one by one, but I got so many pindo palm trees, I don't know what to do with them all. <laughs> we'll go in the back. But if you pull one of these up, <clears throat> I'll dig down here like this. Let's see if this is, <clears throat> let's see if this is one, one tree going down. I got so many we can worry. But see, there's the pindo palm bean and there's the shoot and she's got a good root going. So I'll take this down there. there I'm having no trouble at all transplanting them. And uh, I put them in a pot and I got the coolest invention coming up I'll show you all. I snatched that little sign out of my father-in-law's uh, office and it's called the Owl's Nest and that's what he called his little shop. And I got the greatest garden shop in here and this is where, where we're going to come back to, uh, I'll show you. See here's the Pindo palm seed that I took out back there with the nice root coming off of it. I'm going to come in here and uh, into the shop. I hope we don't lose all the light. Uh, but there's my porthole. I got a nice water sink. I ran electricity in. But I'm going to take and do this guy a favor. And I'll put him in this pot here. As you, as you can see, I don't do a whole bunch of uh, preliminary or fuss over anything. I'll just dig a hole like this with my hand. And I'll stick that... <laughs> I'll stick that pindo palm in there like that. I'm not doing anything fancy. Just like that. And I'll put some water. I'll take her out here. We're going to head on out to the garden. I recycle all my planting buckets and everything. I don't spend a nickel on anything. I don't buy anything. <laughs> I dig my, go down in the woods here to a really soft spot and I dig up dirt and it's beautiful, beautiful dirt. I don't buy any dirt or anything. Here's a couple more pindo palms no matter where I stick them. They just, they don't wilt down or get upset about being yanked out of the ground or anything. They're tough. So there's a couple baby pindo palms on their way.